If you live in Detroit, you already know it. If you're a victim of a crime, well, the chances are you're going to be waiting for the police to show up. Yeah, but how long do you wait in these days of cutbacks? Charlie the Duff decided to do an experiment. Charlie, tell us about it. Okay, well, we recently answered a run-of-the-mill home invasion call. Now, you'd be freaked out, right? You'd want help right away, wouldn't you? Well, here's what happened. Come home and find out someone has broken to my home again. The police, I called them an hour ago and they have still not gotten here. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. While we work all day, they stay at home and figure out whose house they can break in and take their stuff that they didn't work for. A single woman living alone on the east side, afraid to go in her own home. The thieves could still be in there, waiting on the cops. But she's got Fox 2 working for her. Fox 2 coming in. They got the TV, the game machine, the laptop. One and a half hours and still no cops. Okay, it's all clear. I'm getting hungry. And iced tea, sweet, unsweet? Sweet. Sweet tea, ice, no ice? No ice. Sweet tea, no ice, large fries, cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. One cheeseburger, sweet tea, no ice. Thank you, sir. It's two hours later, and still no cops. Thank you. You're welcome. And there's a straw. Here's your tea. It's got ice in it. It does? Yes. Oh. It said no ice. Oh, let, let, me, let me take it back. I totally said no ice. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I ordered a sweet tea with no ice. This has ice. Thank you. Here, no ice. Thank you. are welcome. You're welcome. I'm hungry. No police? Yeah, go fast. Oh! What a nice woman. She dries my pants while I clean up. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nothing yet. Three hours, and still no police. Someone at the door, is that the police? Police? Oh no, it's the grandkids. Hey guys. Hi. All right. This is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with the bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. I want a cake right there. This cake? Yeah. How many candles? Three. Three, good. Precincts closed after four. 850,000 calls to 911 stacking up. Everybody a potential victim of crime in Detroit, and City Hall's answer? Put fewer police on the streets. Well, so what happened to you this morning? On my way to work. I come outside, my car gone. This morning? This morning. You call the police? Yep. They show up? Nope. <laughs> what? Nope. What in the world is going on? And he's not alone. This place was firebombed over two weeks ago. The owner's got videotape, and he still can't get a detective to come out. Meanwhile, the cops arrive four hours later. And they say they came as soon as they were assigned the call. This is your report number. Give them a call to find out the investigator who's in charge of your case, and that investigator should have sent someone out here to uh, dust your home for prints. Okay. Dust your home for prints? Yes. Tomorrow? They should. Tomorrow. Call the detective in the morning. Fat chance. Because a month ago, in order to create efficiencies, they took all the detectives out of the neighborhood and centralized them downtown. But guess what? They forgot to fix the phone system. They didn't give them enough cars. They're now 3,000. Nope. Make that 3,001 cases behind. That's not much of a plan. In Detroit, Charlie LaDuff, Fox 2 News. Wow. So, detectives have yet to come to Mary's house, and she says, 
she's leaving Detroit. So I called police officials and they said, they will send a car if a person thinks the burglar's still in their home. Otherwise, they'll take a telephone report. Now Murray wasn't sure and was standing outside when we got there. Now Murray and Sherry, I don't know about you, but if my house gets burgled, I don't want my wife checking it out. I want the cops to come and check it out. Well, how in the world would you know if somebody is still in the house unless you go in and you're not gonna go in, that's not safe. Oh, a rocket scientist, yeah. exactly. You know? This is unbelievable to me. This is yeah. not fair. It's another sad commentary, I think, on a city that's financially troubled and just can't afford to do the things that it needs to do. Yeah, but this lady is a working lady, works in a factory in and the suburbs, she pays for and it. And there are victims, there are victims all over in many different ways. Let's talk about and some answers and no complaints anymore. Some well, answers. Detectives in the neighborhoods would be a good way to start. Well, they just took them out. I don't, yeah. I'm confused. All right. Thank I think you, a lot of people are probably confused and maybe that will get a response from the people who yeah shouldn't be confused, huh?